It's time to go live on the road one more time as we wrap up the summer season. Say it isn't so. The Church of the Annunciation in Cranston is celebrating its 32nd annual Greek festival. And it's going to happen this weekend. And as always, there is sure to be an abundance of authentic Greek food, pastries, and plenty of family fun. Brendan is there live at the church for a preview of the weekend about to kick off tonight. Come on, to Brendan. Good morning, Will. I could not be happier to be down here in Cranston getting a preview for this. As you said, the 32nd year of the three-day festival here, the Cranston Greek Festival at the Church of the Annunciation. It's going to be a fantastic celebration, and we are learning all about it here this morning with some fantastic guests. We have Father Andrew George here, along with Theophanes Marcos and Kevin Phelan. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. We have quite the lineup here. Let's get right to it, starting with you, Father. Let's talk about the faith component here, how this is really just a great celebration for your church. Yes, it is. Today in particular, we observe the birthday of the Virgin Mary, and it's the reason we connect to these dates every year, the festival, the Greek festival. It's hard to separate the cultural heritage along with the religious heritage, and today being the birthday of the Virgin Mary, we will have a morning liturgy, so I dress for the liturgy. And, and you have done some remarkable work inside of the church that people can actually tour, they can get inside, and they can really experience it, can't they? Yes, and since the last year's festival, we placed in a new icon above the altar area of the Virgin Mary with Christ child sitting on her womb, what we call the Platitera, which means she who fills the heavens expansively in the heavens. So come and observe and see what uh, we've accomplished this past year. It is absolutely beautiful. I got a look at it earlier, so you guys will want to experience that if you come on out. Gentlemen, Theophon, take it away let's talk dates times when it all kicks off what do we need to know buddy it starts today five o'clock until 10 tomorrow from 11 30 to 10 and sunday from 11 30 to 9. come on down if you don't find any parking around here we have a saddle buses two saddle buses that they go to creston uh, west uh, high school there every 10 minutes back and forth it'll be the easiest thing to do for parking and come down, enjoy, and uh, everything is homemade, all the food and everything else. I have a private driver, so you're saying he'll have no trouble finding his way. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. Yes, well, and for you, Kevin, let's talk about uh, the tremendous celebration, food. It really is a big party, but all for a great cause. I mean, this is a big fundraiser for the church, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the most significant fundraiser that we have all year, and it goes primarily to the operation of the church and capital improvements. So we're really looking forward to welcoming people, Brendan. Uh, we put a lot of effort into this, uh, many, many months of preparation, and we're really quite keen to welcome people. It's not only food, but it's also cultural, there's dancing, and it's gonna be a good time. And, and plenty of good eating. And you guys work all year long, you know, getting ready for this. It seems like, you know, a, a, it was just yesterday that the road show was here covering it, but you kind of work, you kind of prepare, and many hands make light work. Everyone comes together for this, don't they, Kevin? That is very correct, Brendan. Absolutely. It takes many, many hundreds of people to make this come off, and everybody has a role to play, and everybody's playing their role very well today. Well, you guys have done very well here this morning. Theophanes, thank you, Kevin, Father Andrew. We appreciate it very much. We're going to be here all morning, you guys. I'm going to be sampling some food. I hope the ladies are ready for me. Kula and Rula are ready to go. The food is ready. A tremendous celebration kicks off later today. Our preview rolls on here in Cranston. For now, back to you. It's time now to go back out on the road. You know, it's all Greek to us, and we're celebrating the weekend at the Cranston Greek Festival. This family-friendly event is kicking off its 32nd annual event tonight at the Church of the Annunciation on Oak Lawn Ave, where the flavors of the culture are sure to be enjoyed. So Brendan is out there live right now, digging into some of that delicious dishes that are going to be served up this weekend. Not gonna lie, Brendan, I am so jealous. You are a very lucky man today. You sh well, I'm a lucky man every day, Mary, but you should be extra jealous today because as you said it, you hit the nail on the head. We are about to sample some of the phenomenal food that they have here at the Cranston Greek Fest taking place this weekend. Kicks off later today right here at the Church of the Annunciation, the 32nd year that it's been a three-day festival. Seems impossible. Decades this has been going on, and they are ready to party once again. And right now, it's time to sample. We have Chef Harry here this morning. Hello, sir. Good morning. It is always great to be here. Tell us about some of the delectable delights we have here. What can we experience this weekend? This is the lamb, roasted lamb, the Greek style. And this is uh, roasted chicken. And this is the souvlaki and the pasticcio. And this fish, Greek style, we call uh, plaki. 
I want it all. Can I just eat it all? <laughs> well, I want to sample it here. Uh, you guys have been working so hard. And who do we have down here? Good morning. Good morning. My name's Nancy. How are you? I am great, Nancy. So nice to have you here. Talk about your role. You've been working so hard. What do you have before you here? Well, this is a mezet platter, which is a type of an appetizer. We have keftetas, which is a Greek meatball, uh, hummus, which is homemade, Domadas, which is uh, grape leaves, stuffed grape leaves. We have feta cheese, of course, Greek kalamata olives, pizza chips, which are also homemade to go with the hummus, and a piece of taropita, which is our cheese uh, pastry. Uh, for dessert, baklava sundae, oh if you like your baklava topped with ice cream, whipped cream, and a little chocolate. What are you cake. doing to me, Nancy? You're killing me. A little me. of each, a little <laughs> of each. And we have a lot of specialty items from Greece, including Greek uh, fruit juices, Greek sodas, a number of Greek beverages. Outstanding. And I am going to just keep my eye on this. Don't let anybody have that, because that has my name right on it. All right? And the baklava sundae, I want that, Nancy. All right, you and me, we make a good team, Harry. Okay. Look at that. And moving on down the line, well, well, look who's sweet back lady. to all oh, the sweetest of the sweet. We have Kula and Rula here. Uh, Kula, talk to us about some of the, the pastries you have here. These are so delicious, aren't they? I'm going to start here. This is our famous rice pudding, oh, homemade yes. rice pudding, served with cinnamon on it. This is the honey nut cake, very light. This is the famous baklava. And this is the galactoburico, which oh. is a custard, oh freshly made every day. And this is the kataifi, which is similar to baklava, but is made with shredded wheat. Right. And Rula can take up the rest. I'm just going to sneak and by here. Rula, what do you have? This is the melomacarona. It's a cookie dipped in honey and walnuts on top. And this is the curabiedas and the diples and the kulraikia, which we did in the, the other day with yeah. Kula. Fantastic. And we have the assortment. Well, Will Gilbert has already put in plenty of requests. Oh. I'm just wondering, is there a treadmill nearby? Because I might need it after I have all this. Hey, listen, <laughs> see how young we stay? You know why we stay young? Because of all these goodies. So go ahead, eat them, enjoy them. I, uh, cool as orders. <laughs> all right, you guys. The Cranston Greek Festival happening this weekend, kicking off later today. Our preview will continue. Oh, we make like a lovely family here, don't we? Oh. It all happens later today. Our preview continues for now. Back to you. The, the Greek festival begins today. Brenda Kirby's been out there all morning. Hey, buddy. Hey guys, it's a beautiful morning here in Cranston. Well, every morning in Cranston really is a beautiful morning, isn't it? We're getting a preview of the Greek festival happening here at the Church of the Annunciation. It all kicks off later today at 5 o'clock. Now, we've learned about the historical significance. We've learned about the amazing food they have here. It's time to talk entertainment. We're going to complete the trifecta. That's three fingers right there. Joining me right now, we have Stephen Rukas. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I am thrilled to be back here. We love being live here with you guys, learning all about your culture about your faith, but talk about this tremendously talented dance troupe we have here and really what you guys are all about. Absolutely. We're very fortunate here to have the Odyssey Dance Troupe. It's a 90-member organization, all volunteers, age 6 and up, who volunteer their time starting in April to come and learn the rich traditions and learn the dances of the Greek culture and perform for everybody in our three-day festival. And let's talk about some of those said performances. When can the people coming out, what times, days can they catch them? Is it all, all three days? All three days. We start tonight at 7 o'clock, and then on Saturday and Sunday, 4 and 7, we do 5 unique performances, so it's never going to be the same thing. You come and get a different experience every time. That is fantastic. And talk about the work that goes into this. You know, I've been kind of meeting some of these fine young men and women. They work so hard coming together. They just put in so much effort, don't they? Absolutely. We spend over 80 hours preparing for the festival uh, starting in April, and they're all volunteers, you know, high school, college, and that's what makes it all the worthwhile. We're all one big family, and we love doing this. That's why they all do it. Well, I asked them earlier if they had ever seen the robot. I did my best when I was in the middle of the dance circle, but I don't have 80 hours. We have about a minute here. Could you teach a guy like me, a dancing machine, a new move or two? Absolutely. We're, we welcome everyone to the troop. I hope those DVRs are rolling. So what do I need to know here? Right to the front of the, the circle here. I'm going to have you hold hands here with Alexis. Oh, it's my lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> it's you again. Hey, well, well, this way? That's perfect. No, this is not awkward at all. Do most of your students carry a microphone? Um, no, <laughs> but hey, you never know. We'll do our best. Hey, what do what, 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 you want to get a coffee later? <laughs> Yeah, here we go. So the basic step starts with your right foot, and we go right, left, right, and then up, up, and then okay. step, and then up. up. Okay. There you go. I almost toppled over. You know, all levels are welcome at the festival. Come and dance with us. We'll get you learn, learning in no time. Let's try one more time. Here we go. Absolutely. So start with the right foot. We go right, 
left, right, right and, and then, then up, up, and then down, and then up again. See, so you go. There I you go. I got it. I think I got it. I'm ready to join the troop. We got an outfit ready for you for tonight, 7 oh, o'clock. Oh, I'm a 40 long. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's try one more time together. Absolutely. And now we're going to add a little opa to this. So we go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't know anything about the opa. We got we to gotta always show our expression of, of having so much fun. They call it kefi in Greek. I like it. It means having fun. Let's try it. So right. Right. Left, what? right, and we'll say, Opa! And, then and Opa! Oh, I should have stretched out first. <laughs> well, enough of me. I want to turn it over to you guys, the experts. What is the dance call that you will be favoring us with here today? The dance we're going to do is called Kalamat Kino. It's one of the most famous dances from all over Greece, danced at all different villages, mainland, islands, and it's really danced at celebrations like our festival. That's why we're going to showcase it for you here today. Outstanding. Oh, and we have a friend here joining us. They want to dance to you. too. Hey, best of luck to you. you did great, great job. Man. Hey, DJ Kula, hit the music. at them go. It's the Cranston Greek Festival happening at the Church of the Annunciation. It all kicks off later today at 5 o'clock. This is the place to be.